Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on everything you need to know about owning a chinchilla. So I was thinking, back when I wanted to get a chinchilla, I was searching on YouTube for videos on everything I needed to know and there wasn't much out there and if there was, they were like older videos. So I wanted to um, make like an updated version of things that you need to know when getting a chinchilla. So I made a list on my computer, you won't be able to focus, but on I kind of broke it down into sections on things that I have learned along the way and things that you guys should know and if a chinchilla is the right pet for you. So the number one thing about chinchillas is the cost. Just to get a chinchilla, um, mine, I have two chinchillas by the way, a standard gray and an ebony chinchilla. They're not cheap animals, most animals aren't cheap unless you have to get like a little hamster or something. but. Uh, Louise, my standard gray, she was $150. Um, she also came, I bought her off of Craigslist actually, and um, I had to go up to Iowa to pick her up, and she came with cage, pretty much everything you really needed, so it, it was a pretty good deal. Um, I did end up upgrading a bunch of things for her to make her have a better life, and then Susie, um, you'll see them hopping around back there by the way, uh, Susie, she is a baby. I got her, um, probably, well, when did I get her? I got her in November of 2016. So, she was, because she's an ebony, um, which a standard gray is what most chinchillas are. They're very popular. If you go to any pet store, they're most likely going to be standard gray. Um, so Susie, I found her on... Um, some website, I know it sounds very creepy, but I don't remember what the website was. Something where you can, like, sell your animals. I got her from a breeder, and she was $200. So, again, they're not very, um, cheap animals, and you will, I will tell you everything that they need and the cost of everything. So, um, yeah, the big thing about chinchillas is, is the cost. Everything that they ha need to have is very expensive. So, yeah, I'm going to break it down for you, and tell you everything that they need. So although chinchillas cost a lot, their materials that they need to survive also cost a lot. So I have it broken down to um, they need a cage, food, toys, um, cleaning materials, and there's some more other things but that's mainly the materials that you'll need for a chinchilla. So the cage, I have the all living things um, multi-level small animal cage and I got that from PetSmart. It's basically like the Critter Nation, the Midwest Critter Nation or whatever that cage is called. Um, I think it's just like a, a little bit cheaper um, and their cage costs $260 and in case you guys wonder why I keep looking down, my list is down here so I know um, what to talk about. So yeah. Their cage was $260. I will insert a clip of like the cage so you can see what it looks like. One thing you need to know about getting a chinchilla is when you buy a cage, they have to have vertical space. They can't be side to side because chinchillas like to jump. They can jump very high, so they need room to jump around. So this is the perfect cage. And you can add, if you have multiple chinchillas, you can add another level up there. Um, to that cage so it's it's very good I really like it and definitely would recommend they also go on sale every once in a while so um, if you're thinking about getting a chinchilla look out for the sales for food I they need hay they have to have Timothy hay um, and like the little pellet food so for Timothy hay I buy the Oxbow Western Timothy hay I buy the 40 ounce bag which is like the big big bag because I have two chins and they eat a lot of hay. You'll you'll know that if you do get one. They eat a lot of hay. Um, so you go through it pretty fast so that's why I buy a bigger bag so I don't have to keep going to the store because it's kind of a drive to get to the store. Um, and the Timothy hay it costs $20 per bag so it's not very cheap. Their food that they use, they use the Vitasmart chinchilla food. Just like a little three pound bag. It's $12 
They do go through the food quite a bit, so I would buy a bigger bag if you don't want to keep going to the store. Next thing chinchillas need are toys. They need a lot of toys, guys. Mainly just like wood toys because they chew on on pretty much anything. So mainly like wood toys, they have like chew sticks. They have to have wood, a lot of wood in their cage because their teeth are constantly growing. So they have to chew on stuff to get their teeth so they're not so long. And if they're very, if you don't have toys in there and they get their teeth get too long, it can cause health issues. So you want to make sure you have wood toys in there. For my chins, I keep a couple in there. They also have wood huts. I'm not sure if you can see, like right there, there's a little part of the wood hut. Um, I will show you more clips in-depth clips of their cage so you can see closer they also have pumice stones pumice stones are things that they do like little blocks that they chew on to keep their nails and their teeth down same as wood they love them they also make a mess so <laughs> watch out for that wood chew sticks they have apple sticks wood just little wood sticks that they chew on and they also have little kebabs i don't know if you can see those things hanging down throughout the cage those are called kebabs they hang from the top of the cage they look like a kebab self-explanatory my chins also like dried loofah it's like these little i don't know i can insert a picture like right here they also need i already kind of touched on this they need like a little house to hide in to sleep in so it's dark okay so they have their wood huts they chew on that um a lot there's i have one down on the bottom and then one up here the one up here is basically, they basically chew it all up, so I'm going to have to buy another one soon. And those are $10 a piece, so again, can get a little pricey. You guys are also going to have to find things that your chinchillas like. My chinchillas love their hammocks, so you'll see one right up there. It's mainly Susie, the little baby that I have. She loves her hammock. She absolutely loves it, so yeah um sometimes louise will get in it but mainly it's just susie she loves laying in her hammock and i made the hammocks myself so you can you can buy hammocks at the store but yeah i made them myself because i thought it would be cheaper chinchillas also need a chinchilla which is basically like a, a granite slab of either marble or whatever it keeps them cold you guys probably know chinchillas have a lot of hair very thick hair and it, they get warm very fast so they, they have to be able to cool down and I have two of those, and those cost $10 each. I buy all of my stuff from PetSmart, so this, this, these are um, like PetSmart prices, so they might be cheaper where you live, I'm not sure. But this is just for me. They also have to have a hay feeder. I personally like the wood hay feeders from PetSmart. They're very easy to put a lot of hay in. The only problem with that, because they're wood, they chew them right up so it's pretty much kind of a waste of money right now i have wire hay feeders um they're a little bit smaller so i constantly have to put hay in it but yeah i have two of those and they cost about eight dollars per piece okay and like i said before chinchillas need vertical space they need to have like you see something right there they need to have ledges to jump on they like to jump from from height to height so I have wood ledges I got them from Chris for Christmas I'm not sure how much those cost but you can just google online and try to find something I think they're from Etsy I'm not sure though you can also buy lava ledges from PetSmart I have a couple of those my chinchillas like them they also chew on them they're um kind of like the pumice stones they they like break off in little pieces uh, those are seven dollars a piece you're gonna want to get a couple of those because like I said, they like to jump from level to level. And again, this is self-explanatory. They're gonna need a water bottle. I have two water bottles because I have two chins. Um, mainly everything I will say, I basically have two of them. Those are $10 a piece. Okay, on to cleaning materials. You have to clean out their cage. I have fleece liners covering my cage. Um, the pans in the cage you can buy stuff from I think it's called bass equipment they have like metal cage things which I'm eventually going to be getting because I think they'd be better so yeah for my cage for my cage to keep it clean I have I buy puppy pads and I put them down on the plastic cage liners and then I put my fleece liners over that the puppy pads I buy 50 count and they last quite a while 
they are $20 and because I have the puppy pads I don't really have to scrub the actual pan it doesn't really get that dirty so I just use Clorox wipes and just wipe them down nice and clean and the Clorox wipes are they're cheap they're only like six bucks now in my cage it's all up to you guys whatever your chinchilla likes I have two pans in my cage with litter in them it's like they're a little like it's kind of like cat a litter box so yeah, I fill that up with litter. It's I buy the Aspen wood shavings litter. You need to do your research on what kind of wood your chinchilla can have. They cannot have cedar. Do not buy your chin cedar because when they pee on it, it creates like a chemical reaction and it is very harmful to your chin. So do not buy cedar. I try to stick with aspen wood. That's just what they like. And like I already mentioned, oh, the um, litter, it's about $15 per per pack and it's about yay big. Now for the liners, I just buy the anti-pill fleece liners. I go to Joann's, buy about two yards or two to four yards and I sew them up myself so that kind of saves a little bit of money. You can go on to Zoe and Lilo's Toy Box, their website. She makes liners and uh, little tubes and hammocks and whatnot. Um, I have bought from her and it's very good. But yeah, the fleece is, it's only like 30 to 40 bucks. You're gonna want a vacuum cleaner. I have a big, I call it a sweeper, so if I say sweeper, that's what I'm talking about, a vacuum. You're gonna want to vacuum out their cage. I will insert a clip on how I do it. They do poop a lot, so you're gonna want to clean it up around the room that they play in. You're also gonna want to sweep that up probably daily because they do... They do go to the bathroom a lot. When I was looking for a chin, I didn't believe that they went that much. I didn't think they'd be that messy, but trust me, guys, they poop a lot. So yeah, you're gonna want a vacuum cleaner. Depend, the price varies, so I'm not even gonna count that. And the most important thing about a chinchilla, they have to have baths. They use dust baths. If you see that thing right down there, that is the container that they take their dust bath in. That container costs about 20 bucks. I have two of them. They only use one though. The other one is the legs on it are chewed off. The dust they use, I, you could buy it from PetSmart. Everything can be bought in at PetSmart. It's, I use the All Living Things Blue Cloud Dust. It cost about $11 for a three pound tub of it. You just put like, I don't know, a couple scoops in there and when you let them out to play, they'll hop in, they'll roll around. Um, I can insert a clip on what it looks like. It's very fun to watch, I think. And yeah, it just coats their fur, makes them nice and clean because when you when you pet them, your oils from your hands get on their fur and it's not very good for them. They just feel dirty, so they cannot get wet. Do not bathe them in water. Their hair is so thick that they don't dry properly, so then you'll have a moldy chin. No one wants smelly chin. Alright, so I totaled everything up and all the basic needs that you need for a chinchilla cost about $839. So just starting out when getting a chinchilla, it's very expensive. That's all underneath cost, number one rule. Cost, that's the main thing. So yeah, if you have the money, go ahead and I would say go ahead and do it i mean it, they're very fun animals all right some other quick things i want to mention about chinchillas they need a safe room to play in i have a separate room i call it my chin room i just let them out i made sure everything is safe no cords laying around or anything it's a very safe room for them to play in so yeah you're going to want to make sure they have room because you have to let them out to play temperature wherever you live I live in Illinois so it gets pretty hot in the summer and it's very humid especially this summer it's been very humid their rooms in the basement so it's very cool down here they can't get over 75 degrees um, or they will overheat and they will die so you're gonna want to make sure if you are thinking about chinchilla think about your house think about the temperature that you usually keep your house at um, yeah my biggest concern about getting a chinchilla was like are they messy? Do they smell? My mom didn't want me to get one because she didn't want her house to stink like pee. I think from personal experience, I they are very messy animals. I will show you a clip on what the outside of their cage looks like. You constantly have to sweep up. So yeah, you constantly have to sweep up after them. They're, they're very high maintenance animals. So yeah, as 
for smell i clean their cage once a week so towards the end of the week around i clean their cage every sunday so by like friday saturday it does start to smell just a little bit but nothing nothing too bad i'll even if it starts to smell like during the week i'll change out their uh litter pans so yeah i wouldn't worry too much about the smell of them it's mainly that they're very messy chinchillas cannot have any plastic plastic is very bad for them because again they chew on everything so they have to have wood um because it's safe for them plastic if they chew on it and they swallow it it can get in their stomach and get lodged in in there and it, it would be very bad so yeah all right guys and last but not least the most important thing about chinchillas you have to make time for them they acquire a lot of attention they need to be let out to play for at least an hour a day they are nocturnal animals so they like to play at night so you're gonna want to make sure if you have if you work second shift or whatever your job is you can make sure you are around to let them out and play so yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions please leave them down below i would be happy to answer them and yeah if you have any video re requests or anything let me know and i'll be sure to do that thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye